Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, passionate Bulldogs people. It's great to see you all here, and I think um, many of us here tonight who've had some kind of um, lengthy history can remember when, I think Gia mentioned to me once, when there was plenty of gaps between all the tables and you could move pretty freely. It's, uh, it's quite extraordinary and unbelievable to see so many people here. I remember going and working at uh, a couple of other clubs and quite regularly they'd get 900 or 1,000 people to these sorts of events and uh, to have 1,200 and I think 60 people, I think Peter said, that's, that's brilliant, you know, and it, it's a great sign of, as Peter said, the contribution of so many people for a long period of time, but the contemporary um, group of players that we have and, and all the people that support them have done an amazing job in recent times. Um, so again, welcome and it's great to see you. Uh, no victory is, is ever enough because the next defeat will erase the glory. It's a pretty uh, significant statement. It's a shame but uh, when you're involved in competition, that's just the way it is. Uh, this is a night when you want to grab your people, everyone in the room, and say it is once again us against the rest. No big statements, though, from me. Nothing regarding some of the disrespect that some have shown for the achievements of our players in the recent past. It matters little. But this, this time, regarding us against them, regarding us against the rest, it is edgy. It's really edgy. And some are pouring petrol on our fire. We seem to be the focus of a lot of things. It is funny how we see the world differently. Many say we're now the hunted. It is going to be more difficult than ever. Well, it couldn't have been more difficult than last year. Some say we are behind in our preparation. Don't people remember we played for a month longer last year? We didn't actually have an extra month off. You all, see, you all saw Liver play in Vietnam. That's the lengths that our players went to while they were overseas. <laughs> we all want success. But when you choose a team-based enterprise, it's not all up to you. The sense of responsibility to each other is profound. To describe the challenge before us right now is, is difficult. The next chapter of this odyssey is once again open-ended. Our great friend and surgeon, I don't know if he's in the room tonight, David Young, Dr David Young, alerted me to the fact that in 1990, the wise and wonderful Theodore Zeus Geisel, pen name Dr. Zeus, wrote a book about the Bulldogs called Oh, The Places You'll Go. Like the great Nostradamus, Dr. Zeus's foresight was supernatural and uncanny. He wrote some paragraphs that not only applied at the end of 2014, but projected in a perpetual way and once again describe our circumstances. You'll come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're darked. A place you could strain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right, or right in three quarters, or maybe not quite? Or go around the back and sneak in, sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you'll find. For a mind maker upper to make up his mind. So I said to the players at the end of 2016 when we started our current campaign, everything's changed, but nothing changes. We draw on our strength from within, and we will mark the streets, we will light the windows, we will dare to go in, risk losing the win, we won't take shortcuts and do it all with a grin. We can't make any promises, we know we, know we can improve. 
Who knows? It may be more difficult. But the places we can go, there is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things we can do with that ball can once again make us the winningest winner of all. Enjoy the rest of your night.